is the lone time where you can have a Shadow Pokemon join your group after you have snagged it if you have five Pokemon in your party. For that reason, you might want to go into this with only five Pokemon. That is indeed a good strategy to go about this should you want to. I have the Timer Balls, I have the Ultra Balls, I think I am well equipped. Let's see if Voltaire can withstand this. Oh, critical hit! Ugh! Critical hits ignore stat changes and I believe they ignore light screen as well. Voltaire did not have a chance. Now, even though he only has one Pokemon in his group, you want to stay healed up during this. Should you take too much damage, you are going to be in trouble. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. I don't want to use a Tyrant Ball immediately as it hasn't even been 10 turns yet. After the 10th turn, it will get stronger with each passing turn. Here we go! One! Wasn't enough, of course. For what level you're at? You just fought Eldis and you just fought Gorrigan. You have powerful Shadow Pokemon on your side you probably haven't purified yet. If you want to replace members of your team with them so that you can stand up to those shadow attacks, by all means, they will do an excellent job walling it. Specifically, that Shadow Snorlax will be pretty good. Uh, you also have Shadow Salamence, which ain't too bad either. You know, that's level 50 to start off with, so you don't even have to train it. I just thought I should mention that. I'm not personally doing that, though, just because I wanted to kind of do this final battle with the team that made the journey with us. And please, Trifecta, prove yourself useful in this fight. I like you. I really do. I just... I want Trifecta to be useful. Well. Alright, let's throw another ball here. I got a good feeling about this. One, two, three! Third ball! Are you kidding me? After all that preparation, third ball! Is that all you got, Grievel? How dare you, child. How dare you snag my Shadow Lugia, my one loyal subject. There's nothing left, but I will personally see to the total destruction of your Pokémon. Fall. This is it, Grandmaster Grievel. He starts off with Rhydon, level 46, ground rock type. Lightning Rod or Rockhead for its ability, it is a Shadow Pokemon. Shadow Down, Shadow End, Shadow Hold, and Shadow Panic. As well as Moltres, level 50, fire flying type, pressure for its ability. Shadow Break, Shadow Fire, Shadow Mist, and Shadow Shed. Two Shadow Pokemon starting off and one of the legendary birds. Getting into this, Grievel, is a cheater. I don't think there's any other way to put it. I think you've kind of realized by now. He has a team of seven Pokemon. Yeah, seven. He is the only trainer to date to have a team of seven Pokemon. So, as you might guess, this is incredibly challenging. There are many, many different things you can do, and of course, Rhydon has Lightning Rod for its ability. I was counting on it having Rockhead for that to work. There are many things you can do. One is to snag that Lugia, lose on purpose, and then just deal with his six. You will keep the Lugia and you want it to fight it again at the, before you fight this. You will not get healed between the two fights otherwise. Another thing that you can do is, just remember, there is no shame in KOing his Shadow Pokemon at all if you are having trouble snagging them. Just remember that. Should you be unable to snag his Shadow Pokemon, but you think you can win the fight otherwise, you might as well go in for it. This is a good time to remember your good friend Mirror B, who will pick up Shadow Pokemon that will- Wow, that was crazy for cold damage who will snag up Shadow Pokemon that you yourself fell to catch. So, remember that. We get Voltaire back on the field pretty soon. Have it do Thunder Wave, and we can take care of that Moltres. Here we go. Executor is down below half its health, and I think we're in good shape to snag it. A 45 catcher. Oh, no! Oh, God. That's going to take recoil damage. That is going to take recoil damage. And there we go. Okay. Now, I should mention, Shadow ends recoil damage. It does half of your remaining HP, it is not one-third of the damage due to the opponent like I previously thought, so it cannot knock itself out with Shadow End unless it only has one HP, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball, no sense using a Timer Ball on Executor, I think we're good there, and let's renew the Light Screen, because I think it just wore off. Okay, let's do this. Are we gonna get three out of seven now? Let's do it! One, two, three... All right, that does it for Executor. Okay, what is coming out next? Tauros! 
Level 46, normal type, Intimidate for its ability. Shadow Hold, Shadow Rush, Shadow Shed, and Shadow Sky. Yet another Shadow Pokemon. Okay. So, I'm gonna go for the Psychic here. I don't know how much it's gonna do. Oddly, Tauros has Shadow Sky here. I'm not really sure how it's changing the weather, but hey, I can't really question all that much, considering it just did. Alright, so we're gonna go for Psychic. That does have its health. And I am going to hope... Oh, Special Defense down. Good, okay. I am going to hope, just somehow, some way, I can get that Tauros off the field now, because that Tauros I am legitimately scared of. That is what ended me last time I tried fighting Grief, and yeah, Tauros is insanely powerful. It hits hard, it can take out some of my Pokemon in one hit that are not taken out by one hit by anything else I've ever come across. So needless to say, I want it gone. Okay. It's special defense is down, so I don't feel I should do anything that might damage it with either of these Pokemon. Well, no, nah, I'll use Ancient Power. I need to weaken it a little bit more just in case, and if not, oh well, whatever comes out next will get hit by it just fine. Alright, Snag Ball, go! One! Two! Three! Yet another one caught! Alright, Grievel. It's more than half of your team down. What do you got now? I think you can see where this is going. Articuno, level 50, ice flying type, pressure for its ability. Shadow Chill, Shadow Rush, Shadow Shed, and Shadow Sky. Now, now that we have these two birds in the field, I think you might have noticed. Moltres has Shadow Fire, while this Articuno has Shadow Chill. Those are exclusive moves that only these Pokemon know. Both moves are special Shadow type moves with 75 power. Shadow Fire has the ability to burn, where Shadow Chill has the ability to freeze, making them a little bit more annoying than other Shadow Pokemon to deal with. No other Shadow move has the capability of dealing status conditions, but these do. These are very powerful attacks, and they definitely hurt coming from these Pokemon specifically. I think the time is right. Let's throw a Timer Ball at that Moltres. Let's see what I did there. Haha! <laughs> Gotta be lighthearted and make bad jokes even when I am standing up against the Lord of All Evil, who threatens to take over the Aura region with an army of brainwashed Pokemon. Okay. Moltres, let's see if we can get you on the first ball like everyone else. One, two, three! Oh! Oh, I thought I had it! Okay. Moltres, you and your pixelated fire, you can get out of the ball. I'll catch you next time. Okay. Shadow Chill. Ugh. Oh, wow, that didn't do as much as I thought. Dang, Jinzo, you are... I gotta say, I, I think all my team members, with the exception of Trifecta, have had chances to shine at this point. But, man, I gotta say, that... My Jinzo has been out on the field this whole fight, and it has not even come close to coming- Oh, come on, no! No! I'm gonna go down from burn damage, aren't I? This rain's gonna get rid of the Shadow Sky, thankfully, but... Here it comes. Here it comes. I restore leftovers, and... Yep, yeah, Mustache could not stay out. Okay. Well, I don't think there is any question what I should do now. Well, Terra's at full health. We need to bring it out. We gotta use Thunder Wave on both of his Pokemon. Here we go. I do have Thunder that I could use with 100% accuracy, but I just don't want to take out Articuno even though it's high special defense. It's Thunder Wave of Moltres. We'll use Ancient Power and Articuno to take advantage of its quad weakness and hopefully get the step up. Seriously, how have I not gotten that by now? I want that so badly. Alright, Moltres is paralyzed. Everything is looking pretty good right now. Let's go for the Ancient Power. I barely even needed a heal to be honest. I'm oh no! Uh, critical hit. Okay, I better get the stat buff after that. I don't, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Well, one Pokemon out of seven has gone down, and that brings me to his last Pokemon, Zapdos. Level 50, Electric Flying type, pressure for its ability, Shadow Bolt, which is the same as Shadow Fire and Shadow Chill, except it can paralyze. Shadow Rush, Shadow Shed, and Shadow Sky, so this has the ability to... Personally, I don't like using it on that Lugia that you can fight alone and fight as many times as you wish. Once his last bird has come out, that is when I personally like to use it. So that way, we can now fight Moltres, two against one. I'm gonna go ahead and renew the light screen. Plus, I don't have to worry about it using its weather effect. There we go. There is no question what this is gonna do, but one, two, three, Zapdos is mine. All that leaves is that Moltres, and it is greatly weakened. We've had those timer balls building up energy this whole fight. Shouldn't be any problem at all. Got Light Screen raising special defense of the entire party for five turns. All it can do is hit us with that Shadow Fire, and yeah, it's just a matter of wearing it down. Okay. Now that Grievel is cornered, it's time to just start chucking those Pokeballs. 
Here we go. Let's see if the first one does it. One, two, three. That's it. I've beaten you, Gravel. It's over. And hey, my next project, I'll probably get to do that as well. Anyway, just kind of remembering the team, I think Joltang was pretty much the best starter Pokemon I could have ever hoped for. It was so incredibly helpful, and I really hope that the Volterra I named it after gets to see this Let's Play someday, because I'd love to talk to him again and reach him any way I can. Walrein was surprisingly helpful, like I said. I personally really like using Walrein in XD, just because even though there are other water types, I just really, really like having water and ice offensively. Claydol was insane. It wrecked so much stuff late in our adventure, and it almost single-handedly took down Grieva. Like, I can't believe how good of a job it did. I barely even needed to heal it. I mean, I did a few times, though, but still. I can't say enough good about it. Uh, Agron, I think, was awesome. Agron one-hitted stuff left and right, so I can't say I'm disappointed with it. Zangoose didn't get that many chances to fight, but I feel like when it did get to fight, it usually did pretty well. Unfortunately, Dodrio, uh, the best thing I could say about you is I hope you find a chance to be useful in the after game because you didn't even get sent out during the final battle, and I was really hoping this would be when you showed your usefulness. But I don't. I still stand by not regretting adding Dodrio to the team. It's just that it either got very unlucky or I just didn't have the right opportunities to use it. Kind of a shame, but that does it.